Have you had the experience of actually going to the trouble of keeping track of your money using an app like Mint.com or Better Mint and Personal Capital and going to the trouble but not actually taking away real actionable steps to save money? My name is Bree Sedano and in this very quick video, I'm going to tell you the three things that you want to do to make sure that your money tracking efforts like result in an actual change in your bank account. All right, so the first thing is before you start tracking, you want to make a best guess about where your money goes. And the reason for this is that way, once you do start tracking, you're going to see any discrepancies. You're going to say, oh, I thought I spent $800 a month on groceries, but come to find out we spend $1,200. And that's going to give you some ideas of where you want to start looking to actually save the money. So that's the first thing. The second thing that you want to do is you don't want to lose the forest for the trees. When you start tracking, there's a lot of categories that you can put money into. And the more you separate it out, the more it's easy to get lost in the details. And so what you want to do is you, you want to think about your categories in advance and use the smallest number of categories possible. Now, the reason for this is that when everything's lumped together in, into smaller categories, it makes it easier to see where the problem is. Now, the other thing about that is uh, what I want to say is when we're looking at our money, we vaguely remember all the things that we spend our money on. And so when we look at the big picture, we don't, we're not as subject to what I call habit blindness. Now, habit blindness is like the vague recollection that you did something and none of it really seemed too expensive. So if you're going through your, you know, if you're reading your statements and you're like, all right, $17 on lunch, stop at the Target, did the things, did all the things. None of that is going to stand out as, as a problem that needs to be addressed. But when you look at it as the entire big picture, you can see that, oh, holy crap, I spent $800 shopping this month. Or, oh, holy crap, I'm, I'm way, way off of what I guessed I did, I, what I was guessing was happening. And so that's why, that's why you want to do that. Now, the third thing that you want to do is... This is, this is tricky, right? The third thing that you want to do is you want to consider your habits and your actions rather than just saving dollars and cents. And here's why this matters, is when we get into the mentality of, of oh, I spend too much money here or there, what we think of is I need to buy cheaper crap. That's like the number one thought that gets drilled in our head. So I need to shop more uh, to get the best prices on things, and I need to buy the cheapest crap possible. Now, what I want to say there is that's usually not the best answer. Uh, in fact, the more, you, the more time you spend shopping, the more money you're going to spend. I know the retailers have us tricked that you can buy more, save more, and uh, come in for the best prices and, and, and have the idea that we can save money while we're shopping. But it's just not true. You can only spend money at stores. You can save money at banks. You, the, the best that you can do at a store is walk in and spend zero dollars, right? And so here's what you want to be thinking about. What habits do I have that are inefficient? Like, are you taking several trips to the grocery store every week, spending a lot of time, a lot of mental energy, and a lot of money at the grocery store? Are you doing things that are inefficient? Are you, uh, let's say, my husband smokes cigarettes, and when I started tracking our transaction, I realized that he was going to the, to the gas station 31 times a month. And I was like, that means it takes him nine hours to buy cigarettes. And then every single time he goes in, he's usually buying a pack of gum or Red Bull or a snack for the kids. And it's, it's that inefficiency that's actually really the problem. So you want to look for inefficiencies. You want to look for low joy purchases. So I hope that was helpful. And I will talk to you later. Thanks.